going down right now. Sending back. What? Yes. Yeah! We're being cheapos today. When I started riding mountain bikes, which is probably about five months ago, I quickly learned that there's a lot more things that I actually needed to make sure that my mountain biking, I don't wanna call it a career, but hobby, went as smoothly as possible. The only reason I actually found out all those little pieces, tools, etc., that I actually needed to make sure that everything ran smoothly was because I watched a lot of videos on YouTube, specifically Seth's bike hacks. Those videos very quickly got me to where I needed to be when it came to having all the right, like I said, tools and items. Upon looking online, I realized that there's not a video that really pertains to the scooter side of that. Some of you guys that are watching this video probably have been riding for a while and already know a lot of these items, but some of you might not. And a lot of you guys probably just started and are trying to figure out what it is that you need to make sure that your scoot runs smoothly, but these are just a few of the tools that I have found have helped me throughout my scootering career that are cheap. So let's cruise over to the skate park right now and show you guys what these tools are and how they help you. Oh, the receipt. I need that tax right off. A lot of you guys are probably really curious. Well, a lot of you guys are actually going to be confused as to why all of these random things are gonna help you when it comes to scooting. And I'm gonna explain them to you starting with, what are we starting with? We're gonna start with the screwdriver. I got this screwdriver at Walmart for like less than a dollar. It was like 70 something cents. And you can use flathead screwdrivers for so many different things when it comes to a scooter. For example, you can use it to pry out nasty bar ends that are broken. You can use it to tighten bolts and hold the actual nuts still. You can use it to make a line on grip tape when you're about to cut it. So many different uses for this tool, which like I said, is less than a dollar. Pretty much everybody has this tool in their bag or something like it, but for number two, We've got Velcro. Now, Velcro also has a lot of uses when it comes to scootering, but the main one that I personally use Velcro for is to re-stick stingy helmet liners. Now, helmet liners are extremely important when it comes to your helmet because that is what keeps your helmet fitting nice and snug. If it starts to get really loose, there's not much to really cinch it back down with unless you use Velcro. I have seen people use zip ties before. I don't use zip ties because of the fact that it has a chance of cutting your skin on your forehead or the back of your head so this is a little bit safer and it's a lot cleaner look so if you have some nasty helmet liners and you need new ones but you don't want to buy new ones velcro tool number three brando is still trying to figure out he hasn't figured it out completely but it is the locking pliers put your finger in there oh oh <laughs> locking pliers make things so much easier when it comes to tightening your rear axle now if you have a deep socket and it doesn't fit correctly in the back of your deck because of the way that your deck is made, you can use these to clamp onto the back of the actual nut and tighten down without having to worry about everything slipping up. If you don't have a grip that's strong enough, that's where these come in handy. I think I bought these for like $2 or three bucks or something like that at Walmart. Definitely have some of these in your bag if you're struggling. Number four. This isn't something that I usually use a lot for the vlog, but anytime you need to grind something and your ledge that you're trying to grind is sticky, Wax is a huge thing, but if you buy wax at a skate shop, it can be a little bit expensive because all it is is candle. That's all, that's all wax is, it's just a shaped candle. You can either buy that wax at a skate shop, whether it's a skate brand or a scoot brand or whatever, which I personally do like some of the shapes and little designs that they come in, but if you guys can't afford that five, seven, whatever, how expensive that wax is, you can go to Walmart and buy these for, I think like 20 cents. You can buy a candle and it does the exact same thing. Will make the ledge super, super slippery and it makes it smell good. It does, it smells phenomenal. This one doesn't smell that good, but vanilla one's my favorite. Product number five. I wanna apologize because you guys can probably hear the wind, but we're gonna have to push through it because I've been waiting for five minutes and it hasn't stopped. Anyways, Loctite. Everybody's had some really annoying bolts that constantly back out and will not stay tight. That's where this stuff comes into play. For those of you guys that have taken your scooter apart and seen that small little bit of blue goo on small bolts, that's what this stuff is. Basically what it does is it keeps your bolts from backing out. 
I think I bought this stuff for like three bucks or something like that at Walmart. Definitely something that you want either in the garage or even in your backpack if you want to carry it around. It's really, really small and something you can even slip in your pocket if you're having a really annoying problem with a bolt. So, Loctite, three bucks. Item number six, I think. Item number six, I think, is the three-in-one oil. I've made a video previously on specifically TriFlow oil, which is like a lubricant that you put inside of your ball bearings, and it solves any issues that you guys might have with squeaking or really tight bearings and things like that. Three-in-one is basically the same thing. Um, it's not nearly as good as the higher-end lubricants, but it will get the job done. If you guys are having problems with a really squeaky headset or wheel bearings or something like that, and you want it to either spin faster or shut up, this stuff comes into play. I think this was $2.50 or $2.80 or something like that. Again, under five bucks, stuff that'll really help you out. And it has this really convenient little spout that extends to up to six inches. What are we on, eight now, seven? We're up there, we're getting close. Seven. seven. Next item on the list is kind of like a hack that some of you guys might know, some of you guys might not. If you guys have slippery grips like our boy Liam right here. Liam, show him your grips really quick. Here, get close on that. So Liam's grips, slide a little bit as you guys can see here I'll, I'll show you guys really closely as you guys can see his grips are sliding in and out and that can be super annoying when it comes to learning new tricks especially ones that have to do with your hands moving around a lot like bri flips and things like that that's where hairspray comes into play if you take the hairspray you remove this grip completely and then you just spray the area where the grip will go on that'll eventually stop that grip from moving around. It does take a few minutes, so if you're gonna do this hack, let it dry overnight or something like that. Liam said that he's gonna take a break for a little bit. You ready to go? Yep. So I'm gonna take Liam's grip off completely, and I'm just gonna kinda wipe off that area a little tiny bit. I'm trying to remove a little bit of the oil. It's not gonna get all of it, but a little bit will do the job for now. I'm gonna take this hairspray, and I'm gonna spray a decent amount all over the end of his bar. Just like that. Now I'm gonna spray a little bit on the inside. Oh, I'm gonna spray some on the inside of his grip too. Just a little bit. I'll slide his grip right back on, just like that. Now, like I said, Liam's gonna give this a few minutes to dry off. Once it's done drying off, that thing will be solid. So I'm gonna do the other side of Liam's grips to help him out a little bit. Again, it's gonna take a few minutes to dry up Liam, but once it's done drying, you'll be solid. Sound good? Yeah. Mama Ann, next product. Next item is the utility knife. A lot of people call it a razor blade, which obviously it is a razor blade, but you can use this thing for so many different things. But before you go and you snatch one of these from Walmart or your local utility or hardware store, or whatever, make sure you guys got your parents around if you're too young. They might not even let you guys buy this if you're underage, so you might need to take mom and dad with you to snatch one and just make sure you guys get the permission before you take this thing out. These are super, super sharp, but you can use them, like I said, for so many different things. One of which is you can use them to pop bubbles inside of your grip tape as well as your grips. Now, when I say in your grips, a lot of you guys are probably really confused because you're like, I don't have bubbles in my grips. Some people do. When you get brand new grips and you put them on with an air compressor and they're moving around, it might be because there's air inside of there. So you can actually use the utility knife slash razor blade to poke small, tiny holes inside of the grip and that'll release that air out of, out of the inside of your grip, in turn, making your grips to where they don't move around. So a huge thing also, cutting grip tape, if you guys wanna put your own grip tape on, obvious, but a huge help when it comes to fixing up your scoop. Next item. Last items on the list we're gonna join because they are two small items that, again, a lot of you guys probably know of. You have your Allen wrenches and a Sharpie. Now, Allen wrenches is pretty obvious. Four, five, and six are the usual sizes that you guys need when it comes to working on a scooter. Four is for your bar ends, sometimes your brake. Five is usually for your wheel bolts slash axles, whatever you wanna call them. And a six is for your clamp bolts. Sometimes it's a five on your clamp or your axles as well. If you guys don't wanna buy the three-way like this, which will cost you around 10 bucks, you guys can go to Walmart again or your local hardware store and get a full set that comes with from, I believe it's like a two all the way up to a seven or eight for like two and a half bucks, two dollars fifty cents. That's so cheap when it comes to Allen wrenches. You can even get them at the Dollar Tree or 99 cent store or something like that. I've seen them there plenty of times. The last item on the list, the legendary Sharpie. Now, why is a Sharpie on the list? Everybody has a Sharpie or some kind of marker in their house. If you guys see like your favorite pro or somebody that's an awesome rider at the skate park and you guys don't have a Sharpie in your bag, you're gonna have an issue because a lot of you guys are gonna want their autographs and sometimes those guys don't have Sharpies with them. I usually have Sharpies with me so if you guys want an autograph, just let me know. But if I don't 
helps a lot when you guys have one. You can also use a Sharpie to make your scoot look a little bit better if it is black. If you guys have a whole bunch of scratches on your bars or even on your wheel, you can use a Sharpie to fill them in if, again, you have a black bar and it'll make it look 10 times better. It doesn't have to be a Sharpie specifically, it can be like another permanent marker, but it is definitely one that I recommend every single kid has in their bag, especially because they're like a dollar. All right, you guys, those are 10 items that are under five bucks that you guys should have in your bag or at home if you're looking at getting into scootering. Now, if you guys are beginner riders, you're gonna want most of these items in your backpack. Like I said, if you're going to the skate park, it definitely helps a ton to have your own Allen wrenches. That way you don't have to go around and ask everybody or your own your own pliers, things like that. It's definitely stuff that you guys should have. And hopefully this helps a lot of you guys get into scootering and it helps you to stay on your scooter. And for those of you guys that have been riding for a little while and you learned something new in this video, let me know in the comments below which one you guys did learn about. I think a lot of people are gonna learn something from this Loctite. It's again, something that you guys should definitely have, especially cause it's like, four or five bucks. Again, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys don't already, make sure you do subscribe to my channel. I do all kinds of scooter videos and other action sports like mountain biking, skateboarding, things like that. So I would very much appreciate your subscription. And also like this video if you learned something new. And until next time, I'm out of here. Later.